I'm Lindsay Gregg, designer, tastemaker, and lover of fashion and function. Surprise! When tackling a home project or renovation, sometimes the planning can take weeks, months, or even years. Okay. Don't forget your tools. All right. All right. Thank Thanks. you. Now, for a few lucky homeowners, my team and I are kicking it into high gear to make homeowner dreams a beautiful reality. Open your eyes. Oh my wow. gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Luckily, when it comes to your dream room, all I need is a day. This is Dream Room in a Day. I'm really, really excited about today's ambush. Today I'm teaming up with my friend and local designer, Maggie Pinson, to help one of her new clients. Dr. Bonnie is a local optometrist who's been doing a lot of good for the community. She's using her talents and her knowledge and her expertise to help people who might not be able to get eye exams otherwise. As soon as I knew that Lindsay and I were gonna get to work together on this project, knowing her, I sent her a text and I said, Lindsay, this is the time we get to collaborate. I'm so excited. I think we've always wanted to collaborate, but we haven't had a chance until now. Absolutely, and this is the perfect project to get started. Dr. Bonnie has done so much for our community and specifically our elderly community, and it is time for us to give back to her. I'm an optometrist, um, so I do eye exams, uh, check eyes, take care of eye infections, everything but surgery. I really, um, everybody says, oh, I love to work with people, but I do have a lot, of, a lot of fun with my patients. I've been doing it long enough to know a lot of them personally, so it um, makes it even more rewarding when you get to work with nice people. It makes it feel less like work um, when you go in, so I um, enjoy doing it a lot. So I'm taking Dr. Bonnie to the hardware store to meet Lindsay, and I'm so excited to surprise her. Hey, Maggie. Hey, Lindsay. How are you? I'm so good, how are you? I'm great. So Dr. Bonnie, this is Lindsay. Hi there. Hi, Lindsay. You're about to get to know Lindsay really well because she's gonna help us with your project. Yep, I'm here for reinforcements. I know Maggie has already put together a really beautiful plan for you, and I hear you've been doing so much good for the community. We're really excited today to team up and help give back to you. To me? To you. Today? Starting today. The look on Dr. Bonnie's face is priceless. I am totally shocked to see Lindsay. Um, it's a great surprise. Yeah, let's do it. Perfect. That's great. Thank you. All right, so let's get all our tools together and get organized, get our game plan, and then we'll go. I've been here for 35 years. Um, absolutely love it. Um, been in this home for 33 years. So um, it's been a nice ride but it's time for some changes for sure. What makes me super excited is that we have Lindsey Gregg as a part of our project to help pull this off in just one day. I wanna help you guys get the perfect tools for this project. So Dr. Bonnie, tell me more about the house. What's the exterior facade made of? Um, right now it's, it's kind of a peachy colored brick. Okay. I'm wanting to update a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're planning to whitewash that brick. It's gonna be so gorgeous. Well, luckily, Wooster makes the perfect product for that. It's called the Cirrus X, and it's actually made out of yarn. That yarn helps it hold more paint and then release more paint, which means we can get the job done faster with fewer rolls, fewer dips in the bucket. So, we're gonna get our roller frames, we're gonna get our roller nap, and we're gonna get rolling down the road to your house. Sounds awesome. Right, sounds great. Let's, okay, go. let's go. All right, great, thanks y'all. Uh, I think it would be fair to say I was stunned. I uh, wasn't expecting that at all, but it was terrific. Um, it's terrific to, to get some extra help. I'm really excited about that. We have a big plan in store for Dr. Bonnie. I don't want to give away too much up front for the big surprise, but we're definitely going to accentuate the outside of the house and the brick facade in a fun, brighter way um, to really make this house stand off off the street and also bring out the coastal cottage feel that we're trying to invoke on the house. Maggie's put together such a great plan. Two designers are better than one, so Absolutely. I'm just here to help you, and I'm excited to get going because we're gonna get this all done today. Oh, that's awesome. We're excited Thanks, that you're guys. here because we're ready to get going. Okay, come on, let's you and I get going. All, all right, bye-bye. Right. Bye. It, it feels um, 
incredible. The anticipation is amazing because I've literally looked forward to this for the past 20 years and to think that it's all happening today is almost overwhelming. I'm really excited about the final product. It's going to be really busy today, but many hands make light work. You guys missed a spot right there. I mean, great job. Maggie, tell me what you're doing over here. Yes, so I'm playing a little bit of a game right now, Lindsay. And ultimately, there are different kinds of coverage that you can have when you're whitewashing the house and different sections of brick or specific bricks on the house that you might want to expose and feature. These are the sections where we really want to expose the brighter bricks of the house so that when we're brightening up this house with the white, we're also exposing the lighter colored brick as well. The location of those exposed bricks is to highlight specific architectural features on the house. So it's not just for fun. It's actually so you'll notice something special. Oh yeah, there might be a little bit of a science to it. Yeah. And what about when everything is said and done, maintenance with a whitewash versus maintenance with regularly painted brick? With the whitewash, you're just able to patina over time, which is really great and a great maintenance factor. Would you put this in the category of like a copper or a marble and call this a living finish? Absolutely, you hit the nail on the head. A living finish is basically when a material changes over time as it's exposed to oxygen. So, you know, like copper oxidizes, unlacquered brass, kind of gets duller over time. Um, these finishes are interesting because they have a life of their own. In 20 years, they don't look like what they did when it, they were brand new. Exactly, exactly. And you know, as just like a copper roof, as it starts to get that blue turquoisey tint, which you know then brings more texture to the house and more more color. Yeah, living finishes aren't always for everybody, mm -hmm. but they're really fun and interesting when they work. Absolutely. What strikes me as having the biggest potential on this project is Dr. Bonnie's adorable front porch. In the South, we love a good front porch moment, and this house has the potential to make it happen for her. I know the curb appeal is really what you guys are aiming for with this project, so what kind of plans do you have for that great porch? Yes, absolutely. So we are going to beef up those columns and we're going to actually have a custom base built for them so that we are in a better proportion between the size of the porch and the column, as well as paint all of these soffits and exterior trim and even the siding that is at the top of the dormer um, on both sides of the house, a semi-gloss white color. And what about the front door? Any plans for that? So the front door is going to be the exact same color as the porch ceiling. Love it. Yes. Gorgeous. So it's, it's going to feel really good and cohesive. There are several key features on the outside of the house that we are working on, and one of those is the Haint Blue porch ceiling. There's a little bit of history behind Haint Blue. We've heard two different versions of why it was popular, but Nobody really knows exactly why it was used so often, but one idea was that the blue helped ward off evil spirits. We can all use that anytime. Exactly. <laughs> Sign me up. Right? Um, and then the other thing we've heard is that having blue on the ceiling sort of acted as if it were sky and tricked animals into thinking it was the sky, so spiders wouldn't weave a web up in a corner, um, birds wouldn't build a nest. So it's form and function. Maggie, it's looking amazing out here. You've been working so hard. Tell me how you're feeling right now. We only have one hour left till Dr. Bonnie gets home. I am so excited. I'm so ready for her to get here. I'm a little bit nervous. We really need to dial in those details during these last 60 minutes. We're so close. Okay, well, I'm here to help you put me to work. I want to get it all done before she gets home. I've got some planners that need our assistance right now. Okay, we're going to get this done in a day. Let's go. All right.
Dr. Bonnie, you do so much for others. It's time that we show you what we've done for you. Open your eyes. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. <laughs> Can you even believe that no. this is the same house? It doesn't look like my house anymore. It's just as cute as it can be. It's, it's absolutely adorable. Look at the shutters. They're amazing. No more green shutters. Top. No more <laughs> beige trim. Oh, the white is so clean. It looks so fresh. It looks a lot more like it belongs at the coast. And the front door. The blue is awesome. Thank you so much. I love Thank what you. you did with the columns, Maggie. You kind of like brought them into proportion with the porch and the home. Absolutely, that, that makes a big impact along with these shutters, the trim. Yes. The whitewash turned out exactly how we had hoped it would. What do you think about your sweet new street number, house number? Oh, I love it, I love it. It, it definitely looks more up to date. I love Perfect. it. Perfect. The light fixture is gorgeous. Everything, all the details. You guys did such a good job. It feels a lot more coastal now, but I still exactly. feel like this is your house. Like it was always meant to be this way. Maggie, you had such a beautiful plan for this home. It's so wonderfully executed. I feel like your vision has really come to life for Dr. Bonnie, who's amazing, so well deserving. I'm just so honored to have been a small part of it. Thank you for letting me lend a hand where I could. Thank you so much for being a part of this. You, our crew, we could not have done it without you at all. Well, Dr. Bonnie, I hope for you that this is a real dream come true, that it's a dream room in a day, a dream house in a day. Oh gosh, it's better, <laughs> it's better than my dream house. Thank you so much. I couldn't have, I couldn't have dreamed this big. It's wonderful. Oh, you deserve it. Um, Maggie and Lindsay really, really nailed it. I love the whitewash. It's so much fresher now. Absolutely perfect. Um, I, I really couldn't even have imagined how exciting it would be to see the, the final changes. So um, better than I dreamed. A lot better. Dr. Bonnie's reaction to this transformation is so exciting. It makes me feel so happy and so much gratitude. Um, one to you guys and another to everyone that, that was involved and then especially to her allowing us coming in and helping her transform this house and pull off this vision. It's so rewarding to see someone's home that they've had for 30 plus years, but it's like she's seeing it again for the first time. And she loves it maybe and hopefully just as much as she did on day one when she first bought it. Exactly. I think that she is shock and awe in the best way possible. Job well done. Huge success.